the practice of training the mind starts with goodwill, a desire for happiness that you can depend on, a happiness that doesn't cause any harm to anybody. In other words, you feel goodwill for yourself and for everybody else around you. That's an attitude that has to be developed. Because it's very easy to feel goodwill for the people we like and we love, and very easy to feel ill will for people who have harmed us or harmed the people we love. But you have to realize that kind of division right there, that kind of partiality, sets you up for all kinds of dangers. I mean, you can start acting on that ill will, and then you end up causing a lot of trouble for everybody, yourself and other people. And so it's that realization that you want to develop goodwill all around. That's why we have the, the chants on goodwill. And it's not just a chant that you do for a few minutes every day. It's an attitude you try to develop. So you might want to sit down and think about the people that it's easy to feel goodwill for, and then start thinking about people it's not so easy, and see if you can develop an attitude of goodwill for them. What is goodwill? It's a desire that people will understand the causes of happiness and act on them. When you stop and think about it, that's not hard to develop for other people even the people you don't like, even the people who've behaved in unskillful ways, because your hope is that they will change their ways. And if there's anything that would you could do to help in that direction, you're happy to do it. That's what goodwill is. And so you want to sit down and think about all the people you really dislike. After you've thought about the people you like, think about the people you dislike and think, well, can I develop an attitude of goodwill for them too? In other words, Get so you can trust yourself that when you're around them, you will act in a way that really is conducive to happiness. It's not harmful to anybody. That's why we develop goodwill. And so make that part of your mental training, make that part of your meditation every day. Realizing that if you really want to learn how to trust yourself, you have to develop goodwill without limitation. It's called a Brahma Vihara in Pali. It means a sublime attitude. The attitude of people who don't carry grudges, the attitude of people who have a much larger perspective on life. That's a good attitude to have. It expands your mind every day. There's that passage in Through the Looking Glass where one of the characters says he likes to think about two or three impossible things every morning before breakfast. Well, think about infinity a couple times a day. Opens up your mind, airs things out. So you find yourself carrying grudges, it's a lot easier to drop the grudge. And although you don't have to like everybody, and there are a lot of people out there whose habits are really hard to like, at least you can have goodwill for them. May they be happy, may they understand the causes for true happiness and act on them. And if there's anything I can do, I'm happy to help. That's a good attitude to practice and to make part of your training every day.